Acting Chief Immigration Officer Geraldine Ritter Freeman says she is fortunate to be appointed to the brand new role at this specific time at the Immigration Department because of the major changes that are taking place. She said the Immigration Department is heavily focused on reform and policy development following recommendations for immigration and labor reform as outlined in the McKinsey Financial Services Industry Report. The acting chief immigration officer was speaking on JTV's Spotlight television program, and she says immigration significantly impacts BVI's economy. We want to improve territorial border protection through a cutting-edge border management system. And of course, we use words like cutting-edge, but it really means keeping up with the rest of the world. Yeah. Modernization. Um, modernization. Mm -hmm. We also want enhancement of the immigration laws and policies on, again, best practices and staying in line and being able to meet certain requirements. And we also want to ensure alignment with the strate strategic vision for development of economic sectors. Um, mm -hmm. the economic sectors here in the Virgin Islands. So essentially, in summary, um, where we think about law enforcement as immigration policy in terms of control and protection, I think we're moving in a direction where we can say that immigration policy also amounts to economic policy. And so what we, what we do and how we do it in immigration has a great impact on the economy um, and the various sectors, albeit financial services, tourism, now we're talking about arbitration and all of these things, and immigration plays a great role in that. And so when we're looking at reform, we're looking at, yes, security, but we're also looking at the economy and how we factor into that bigger picture. Adding that legislative changes are necessary for certain changes to take effect at the Immigration Department, the Acting Chief Immigration Officer stressed that there is need for creative innovative and modern ways to streamline long existing processes. So where we have perhaps processes three or four steps at labor and then you have to come to immigration and then you have three or four similar steps. Uh, we're looking at how we can merge services, streamline forms, um, of course, get into more e-processing where we're doing stuff m in a modern era as opposed to so we, manual. So we, we could process our immigration um, That's what applications we're online. We're, we're looking at all of that. Mm -hmm. That's the direction that we're, we're heading towards. Like we can reform the way we, we, um, we, we issue medical forms, for example. Um, the medical form, is, uh, the way I see it, it's been around forever. And we're now looking at amending it because maybe some of the requirements in there, they're no longer necessary. And some, sometimes we just go through the motion and we do things because that's how we've been doing it. And we can just sit around a table, look at the form and say, listen, we can either do away with this form. It has no, it, there's no use for it. Or we can change it and make it easier, friendlier. Um, 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 requiring police certificates, that process, we can look at what that means, how it, you know, how it fits into today's society. Now we have email and all these things. Do we still have to do it the way we did it 20 years ago? So these are the kind of things that we're looking at. The Immigration Department is also working towards strengthening law enforcement relationships with labor, customs, police, and the USVI authorities. You can catch the entire Spotlight interview right here on JTV Channel 55 on Sunday at 2.30 p.m. on our website, jtvlive.net, as well as Spotlight's Facebook page, facebook.com slash spotlightbvi.